Got the phone call for another collection, took a drive out to no man's land to take a look. Were we able to bring it home? All right, guys, before we get into this, please remember to hit the notification bell with that subscription button. You definitely want the notification bell hit because you wanna know when videos come out. Videos are put out Mondays and Thursdays, but shorter videos do come out midweek. And I also go live sometimes on the weekends during the week to open mystery boxes, auctions, or just to hang out. All right, and with that, please, if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up as well. Now, these things always start the same way. I say, the call came in, and the call did come in, and I get a lot of questions. How do people know? How do people know? How do people know? It's all word of mouth at this point. People just know people who know people who sold comics, who sold them to me, and it's just a snowball effect. So, again, I got the call. This one was a little bit of a drive. Not too far, but it just seemed like it was in the middle of nowhere. I drove to a trailer behind a house, kind of weird. I don't know if they owned the house and the trailer. I don't know what was going on. Or maybe the house owned the trailer and rented it out to this guy. I don't know. This dude does clean outs. So, you know, we got to keep that connection. And um, here you go. All right, guys, got another call. Uh, this one, it's going to sound exciting, but it probably isn't. Guy says, I've got 20 cent comics, 15 cent comics. I get that call all the time. I usually get the, oh, I have really, really old comics. They're really, really old and they're 90s Silver Surfer or Ghost Rider. So I won't hold my breath. We'll see how it goes. And then, uh, you know, you guys will see what's in there. This is mixed. Oh man. Busy or not? Extremely. <laughs> Our friend also has a Batman car. I don't know if you guys buy toys. Not really. It's a collectible one he has, an older one? Not usually. Um you're more than welcome to give him my number. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that was something you guys are interested in. Yeah. Talk about random. The only thing these have in common is they're mostly DC. I don't know comic books. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm hoping to find a home run. Now what do you do if you find a home run? How does that work? It means I give you more money. Oh, okay. <laughs> right now it's mid-grade fillers, uh, late, late 70s, early 80s. Here's a mid-80 book, first black suit. First Nebula. Now, what do you look for? Is it a series or like one? I'm looking stuff? for key issues. Okay, I don't know how it works. Yeah, I'm just looking for key issues, so that's basically it. Um, I'm not looking for Black Hawk books, I'll tell you that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're in the 80s now. It's a lot of shitter. Not amazing. <laughs> Some okay stuff. You know, all I was gonna do the McCaters and stuff. If nobody wants them or whatever, they ain't worth shit. I'll make a video and burn every one of them. <laughs> make the comic book guys hate me. <laughs> right? Well, there's a few in here you can definitely do that too. <laughs> like, uh, I'm sure it'd be funny. 
It's the first Trigon, I think. <laughs> first McFarlane professional work. Green Lantern is in the 80s, Thor. I'll say it's kind of random. Devils. Force. Are you using the phone to see? No, nah, I record videos. Oh. Alright, so it looks like we're taking those home. A few, few nice books in there. Mostly meh, you know, nothing crazy, but a few nice books worth the purchase, worth the price. Uh, the location was a little out of the, the middle of nowhere and a trailer behind a house. I don't know if he owned the house, owned the trailer, owned the guy in the house, owned the trailer and rents it. I don't know. Either way, this guy also does clean outs, so you know I had to leave me leave him his my card because uh, if he comes across, you know, comics in the future, hopefully he can give me a call. So let's uh, get these home, get through them and see what we got. All right, talk about a weird mix of stuff there. Um, nothing crazy over the top, but I do have four books I wanted to show you. You saw three of them. You didn't see the fourth one. Shame on me. I cut the camera off too early. But the first one was Coyote number 11. This is the first professional McFarlane work in this book, if you didn't know it. Price on this is starting to climb. I think it's still like a 10, 25, uh, 10 to $25 book, depending on condition. Nice book. Again, Coyote 11. You saw this one. This is DC Comics Presents 26, first appearance of the Teen Titans, the newer Teen Titans, right? Uh, Sa uh, Starfire, Cyborg, Raven. This is their first appearance. DC Comics Presents 26. And this book is probably not going to go to CGC. Maybe we'll auction it one day. Probably mid-grade, like a 5.0, but still a really nice key to have. A really nice key to have. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man 252. First tied for the first appearance of the black suit, but this is the first appearance of the black suit in the Amazing Spider-Man title. It's also the cover swipe of the AF-15. Very nice book. This again, not high grade, maybe an 8.5. I mean, maybe a 9.0. It's going to be a stretch. Maybe we'll send this out for fun just to see what happens, but uh, it's going to be a stretch. No, Nowhere near a 9.8 which you know how I feel about the modern books. I like to get them in a 9.8, especially a book like this. So still, still, still a key issue, especially if you collect all those symbiote books. This is the one. So this is, uh, again, Amazing Spider-Man 252. Now, I turned the camera off when there was maybe 30 books left in the box. Shame on me. I should have kept going. So you guys missed this book. This book is in great condition. It's not a 9.8, but it is going to CGC a book that's kind of in this time period, kind of there. This is Amazing Spider-Man 300, first appearance of Venom. No 298, no 299, no 301. And I don't even know if there were any other McFarlane Spideys, maybe one or two mixed in there. No 316, which is that classic Venom cover. None of it. 
but the 300 was in here. It's looking like a 9.0 to a 9.2. I'm not going to lie, man. Maybe even a 9.4 if they're feeling generous, which is a shock because the rest of these books aren't going to hit those numbers. Uh, really happy to find this book. I always love finding this book because number one, it's easy to it's easy to sell. It's easy to trade. It's easy to find a new home for it. If this was a 9.8, I'd be jumping for joy because I think I might even keep a 9.8 for my personal collection. Why not? First appearance of Venom? Come on. Um, but those were the big four, if you want to say big, out of the four, uh, the two, they had two long boxes and like, and like a stack like this. What are you asking? I'm sure you're asking yourself right now, what did you pay for the collection? I'll tell you what I paid. I paid 180 bucks. All right, $180. Basically, this is most of what came out of there. There wasn't a lot. There was like one Silver Age th random Thor book, I think. I, you know, I don't even remember. So a couple boxes of crap and a couple things, you know, a few good books. So 180 bucks I thought was fair. I still have CGC fees to put into these as well as cleaning and pressing, which is time and effort. Time is money, right? We all know that. So not too bad. Nice little collection in the middle of nowhere. So it helped driving all the way back home. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. More of these videos are coming now that everything's rolling. The states are opening up. Things are getting back to normal a little bit. You may get more of these videos. I may be able to get out there and you find more and more stuff. Okay, thanks again for watching. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. Uh, don't forget Mondays and Thursdays video. Hit the subscription button as well as that notification bell and keep it comics.